Welcome, Trade Hackers. Today's Tuesday, February 18th. Good to be back after a closed market on Monday for President's Day. So let's take a look at what's going on in the markets. To start with, S&P's got about 45 minutes left in the cash market. S&P's down about seven. They were down as much as 20. Just another day, another bounce where we see the markets going down and then rally back up. In fact, the NASDAQ actually turned green, so it's up on the day. Other movers, big moves in commodities. If we look at you know wheat up over 4%, we went ahead and booked profits in one of our wheat trades. We had an iron condor on in wheat. It was kind of hanging out near the lower end of the range, rallied up. We booked profits there. Some other big movers in commodities, Natty Gas, and that gas up over 7%, making a big bounce off of its lows there. And then the silver, which we don't trade a lot. The markets aren't great in silver, but Silver futures up over 2.5%, twice as much as gold. So big move in silver as well. What did we do today? Well, we booked some profits. We took profits in SPX. So we had a an iron duck on in SPX, took some profits there. The other thing I wanted to point out was a couple of the post-earnings plays that we did. So NVDA, anytime price opens up above the expected move, which is marked by this line after their earnings announcement. Just like we teach in our earnings course, got a nice move higher, booked profits on our NVIDIA trade. We've also got one in Shopify, which did the same thing. And here's the expected move line right here. And look at how the market's just respecting that. We actually put this on up here, so we're still down on this trade a little bit. But if we can get a move higher at some point here in the next couple of days, we should be able to book profits. But you can see price came right down to that expected move line, bounced higher, came down, bounced higher, came down, bounced higher, and it continues to do that. I'm not a big support and resistance person. I, you know, I think they're, they work about 50% of the time, but just look how price is respecting that expected move line. Interesting. So hopefully it doesn't break through, and hopefully we get a little bit of a continuation to the upside in Shopify. Other movers, Apple. Apple was down over about 2.5%. It also, with the rest of the market, has started to rally back. Still down 1.73% at this point. They came out with some guidance saying, you know, due to the coronavirus, they are going to see some reduction in profits. And so market opened up down, but has since rallied. Apparently, they decided the coronavirus isn't as big of a deal. Let's see what else. Tesla is on the move again. If we look at our friend Tesla... TSLA up 7% today. So another big move in Tesla. And on the earnings front, not a whole lot going on today or this week in stocks that we like to trade. The one that does announce before the bell on Friday is John Deere. So we will potentially be looking at earnings trades in ticker DE. But other than that, not much interesting as far as earnings plays the remainder of this week. Everybody have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.